Here we have one minute into the process. We see the blood only clot. We see the half Remexilin ozone. And this seems to be our best mixture of two and a half mils, one half mil, five milliliters of blood, and five of ozone. And when we double it, we get a complete thinning of the system. And with no ozone, we see a little better clot than the original with the blood only clot master. And that's one minute. We're going to post this again in two minutes. We're now two minutes post, and we can see we raise the blood only up. We still have some running, not complete clotting. And realize this is 12 to 13 minutes post being mixed from the clot master. Here with the half regenerative mix and ozone, and we see we have a substantial clotting system formed. And here the mixture seems to be about the best, and we can see how well that will stand vertical and hold a clot highly functional. See, we get nothing there. The depth is still there. When we double the mixture, we get a substantial thinning of the system and not the clotting, so it resists the clot. And the Remexilin only with methyl and no ozone still clots substantially better than the original clot master. So we're seeing several things here that the combination seems to be the best with number one at this point, unless we're getting substantial dilution with two. But again, we will test this further. have our mixture with the blood and we're going to mix that with the ozone. And we're down. That's a rapid change of coloration changes. Really smooth injection and follow five cc ozone. We pull out as we inject here. Okay, and again we have our Remexilin and mixture. We're going to draw up the clot of blood. No, I'm a teetotaler, man. That would put me right out. Yeah, I'm done with any drinking. Just a rapid change. So be really careful. Pressure? Yeah. Okay. Easy to flow through the needle. And follow up with the ozone. We're done. 
Here we are recording a jump start using the ACG Regenolin, ACG Glutathione, and Methylcobalamin. This mixture consists of 23 cc's of Regenolin, 10 cc's of ACG Glutathione, and 2 to 3 cc's of Methylcobalamin, 5 to 10 mg Methylcobalamin. It's put in a single syringe, loaded, and pushed on an IV, either with a butterfly or a catheter. It takes between 3 minutes to 8 minutes, depending on the person's tolerance and veins, and may also be used as a drip. IV needles inserted, so a very slow pit push, watching to make sure there's no um, breaking of the vessel, slow and easy, till tolerance. Sometimes patients will get a slight ache to slow the speed down and very good for anti, any flus, boost the energy, rebuild the system. Uh, we generally do them on a weekly to two-week basis here in the office as prevention and to help regenerate cells in the body. Left knee. We just relax there, let it go down. And we add just a touch of procaine in first. Now with the knee, we're going to fill it, we're going to do medial and lateral injections. And with that, we actually add some ozone with it. aspect to the knee also. This is for numbing with the procaine and to reset the nervous system slightly and we'll follow 5 cc's ozone and we'll inject and then pull the needle out as we inject, sterilizing the knee and also activating the cells. Let it numb slightly for 30 seconds to a minute. We're going to have the patient just breathe and not look at the needle. And we'll go in with our 20 gauge gently in. Breathe. Let it drop down there. Good. You did perfect. Good. Beautiful. A thing of beauty. And we're followed up with ozone for activation, sterilization. Should we come out with it? Beautiful. Okay, wasn't bad, was it? 
Did you put anything? Uh, that one I could feel it. A little pressure? Yeah. Move up there for me, please. Get that roll to Falling out of right away. And I'll need a mirror. Do that? Yep. Mm -hmm. I love these peel apart, please. You're in the real meal deal today, aren't you? I am. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Yama charges my cost on one, so you're getting a hell of a deal. They're charging several thousand for these techniques now. Yeah, I know. It's How many place. places are actually doing them? Not very many, is there? There's actually a lot doing PRP. Is there? But not like this. This is like advanced PRP. Mm. So no, there's not many. Can you post some ozone now? Yep. Just give her ozone. How much do you want? Um, five. Give me five. Okay. Five, give me five, give me five. This joint isn't good for the housing. It's getting worse fast, too. Can't be having that. It's my quilt in my hand. So, Tina, tell you we're taking off. To... Yeah, when are you leaving? Um, really soon, actually. Uh -huh. Six or eight weeks. Really? It's in October? Mm -hmm. End of October, yeah. I just can't believe when we're leaving. This is nuts. Time's a flying by. That'll be fun. Way though. too fast. Yeah, I need some more ozone behind this, please. Yeah. Oh, damn, I was so. Darn, it was so good. <laughs> so, uh, I shouldn't say down first. I'm going to up. <laughs> That's just sales on. That's sales on. It'll be solved for everything. Good. Super. Thank you. Okay. Sit. Good job. Sit. Okay, we just inject a small amount of procaine and a little ozone behind it, about three cc's of ozone, two cc's of procaine. And when Shirley's about ready to do the, the clot master, we're going to, and this, she's using the mixing method on that to activate the stem cells. Pressure? Yep. Feels like you're blowing up a balloon inside. <laughs> I am. I want a joint only take so much, so we put in as much as the joint will take, and we add those on behind it to activate, and we're finished. Thank you.